Okay, good morning people. This is um, another little one of my, um, what I'm going to be doing weekly is children's videos or videos that you as mothers or fathers or grandparents or friends can do with children. So all of the products we're going to use today are from Kmart. So I have the Kmart paints. I have some Kmart canvases and I have Kmart PVA glue. So at the moment, I'm just going to do the preparation here with you. Um, I think today we're gonna to be painting on some stones as well with my granddaughter, Ava. Uh, so I'll just go through this paint. So what I've done is I've poured the whole 250 liters into, uh, mills into this container so what you do is just slowly add water um, so probably just add it a bit at a time and the children can do this too can stir because it's still a nice relaxing pastime to do still part of the process um, okay uh, a little bit of a trick as well is use, like I've just filled that container back up with warm water. Uh, I don't know why, but I seem to think that it reacts better. Um, it seems to um, give it a nice creamier consistency for whatever reason. It might just be absolute ridiculous, but I just find it seems to uh, work better. So just keep giving it a stir. Still a little bit thick, so I've noticed just every time I do mix this glue, it's different amounts of water, so I don't wanna give you a set amount or so many mils because it might not work the same each time. Meaning, so you just pour in that bit of glue, a bit of warm water into your glue and it's just like a pouring cream consistency. I'm gonna leave it at that because if I need any more, if my paints go too thick with this glue, then I can add some water, more water as we go along. So that's the whole 250 mils, $2 from Kmart. I think the paints were five and I think you got um, three, uh, four canvases for five. So. It's a nice little project for your children to do if they want to do painting. What these are, what these size canvases are good for too is if the children paint on them after they're fully dry, you can buy some letters, um, similar to these ones I have here, and they can get their name letters out and paint those and they can be also stuck on the canvas when they're finished and they can hang it on their bedroom door. So that is the paint mixing part of this video at the moment. So that's all good. We're currently on the um, paint mixing. Now we've, we've mixed the glue up with the water. We're on the paint mixing now. So I've done three of them but so I'm onto this color so you get the just little cups uh, lollipop sticks you can get these from Kmart too I think they just sell the thinner the craft sticks so just take out some of your paint with your lollipop stick it's quite thick and creamy so probably about three scoops and then just add your Probably better if you take the, probably better if you do this with children in, in a jug, a cheap, cheapy jug from Kmart, $2. And just pour it slowly, maybe just about two centimeters on top of your paint. Stir, because the less you add, the better. If you stir and then it's thicker, you can always add more. So it's just pour your, pouring medium into your paint. And stir really well. So that's a bit thick, as you can tell. So we'll just add some more of the pouring medium. So 
stir again. Stir, 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 stir. Okay. If you find when you come back to your paint it's gone a little thick, then just add some water. Like I said, I've just refilled the Kmart PVA glue back up. I've filled the bottle with warm water. So if you need a little bit more, add some water to it, more so than pouring medium, just to get it a nice consistency that's similar to pouring cream. Like that. Okay, just one more. We've done that one. So this last one, just, um, Three, three nice scoops out of there will do for this. So that's your paints. And again, add your pouring medium nice and slowly. These, um, what I'm painting on today is a really good idea with children. They're the puppy pee pads. You can also get those from Kmart. So it's craft on a budget really, because it's quite cheap to let the children have a go at this and they've created something of their own, can be proud of, maybe even teach it at school to the other children. I just find it's nice doing the craft projects with your, with your children or your grandchildren or your friends' children, they always appreciate it. Okay, that's a little bit thick. Just might pour a little bit pouring medium in there. A little bit, put that aside so it doesn't get tipped over. Stir again. So, each paint seems to require a different amount of the pouring medium or water. Don't always seem to. Okay, so that's our paints done. So that's the stage we're at at the moment. Next little piece of art Ava will do, will she's going to do uh, a little ring, what we call a ring pour. So it's rings on this canvas. Can you hold the little canvas up Ava and show them all what canvas you're... So that was a 20 by 20 canvas, was it? Yep, 20 centimetres by 20 centimetre canvas Ava's going to be doing today and they sell these at Kmart in the pack of three for five dollars. So again we're going to layer the colours as we did before Ava in your little cup. So yep, start with that one. So as I said Ava's seven so she's quite capable of doing this. A little bit younger a child might need a bit of a hand, do you think, Ava, to do this? Yeah. Because it is kind of pretty hard. Yeah. So it's helping you learn your fine motor skills. That may be enough. That's it. That's it. You're doing it nice and slow this time. So that's good because you just then you're in a little bit more control when you do it slower. So these lovely colours that Ava's using is a lovely turquoise, purple, navy, white and a lime green. They all came in the um, came up little pack of acrylic paints. Beautiful, yeah, that's, enough. that's enough, okay. Yeah. So what I might get you to do Ava again is with the end of the paper, give it a stir. Uh, well, you know just a swirl round so you just mix in your paints a little bit but not too much to make them go muddy that's beautiful thank you that's it take it out gently then just pop it down on that puppy pee pad okay so what we was going to do was start with the bit that we had left over from the rock pour she's still got some paint so what she's going to do now is lift it remember and we've marked a spot on Ava's canvas that she's gonna let the paint drip out on and do little circle movements with a hand as it's, so we'll see if a seven year old can 
achieve this. Yeah, just let it run out, that's it. Do little circles, Ava, little circles. It's like a snake. Kind of like a snake, yeah. That's absolutely fine. Around the outside of each one, yeah. Work away. That's fine. Once you finish that, you can start on your next colour. Do the same again gently around the... Ooh, Ooh. <laughs> that was a big one, yeah. It's okay if you go back over the same area, but it's probably better when you get a different colour that's starting to come out and go back over. Because we'll tilt this paint so it covers your whole of your canvas in a little while. So she's just running the paint in like a big circle around her canvas. She's not trying to cover the canvas at the moment because she will be tilting the little canvas to cover it with this paint. So do you think that's enough now? Yeah, all good. You can just pop your cup down. So what you do is pick your canvas up, Ava, with both hands and just gently tilt. You don't, try not to let the paint run off, but just tilt your paint so it's covering the top of your canvas. Can you easily do that? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Oh, very good. Oh, look at that. That's it. It doesn't matter if it does, just tilt it back towards you again. That's it, back towards you. Yeah, let's fall off the side. That's okay. If it isn't completely covering your canvas, that's all right. We'll use a bit of the other paint too. Okay. So with any paint that you may have left over, if you want to pour over your corners like like so, to so get your paint to pour over your to pour over the parts of your canvas that's not covered. If there's not enough in there, just use some of your white paint out of the cup. Just, just gently, bit. just use it like, yeah, just gently pour it over the areas that's not got any paint. That's it, that's fine, that's it. Just pour some on, that, that's enough for now, and then I'll show, show you how to, that's good, very good. She's doing really well. So with the soup, that's fine. Yeah. That's absolutely fine, that's all right, that's good, that's fine. What I'll show you, you can do, is give it a bit of a tilt again. Look at those colours coming up, it's very pretty. Lovely. Okay, yep, you can pop it back down. Do you want to wipe your hands again on that cloth? So I'm gonna let Ava have a go at the balloon kissing, even though this looks really pretty on its own. I'm gonna let Ava have a go with the balloon. So she's blown up the balloon for me. Do you wanna collect, you see that balloon, Ava? Maybe hold the balloon with your both hands, like at the top, or can, yeah. Well, what I want is that bottom of the balloon is what you're going to sit in your canvas like that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll show you what you've got to do there. We've just put a clean cloth out for Ava to wipe the balloon on afterwards. <laughs> okay, so stand up Ava. I'll show you. So if this is the balloon, This is the bottom of the balloon. This bottom of the balloon is what you put in there and then put onto your cloth like that. Well, actually, you could put it onto this. Just press it once into the paint, just once, push down. Now, lift it up, that's it, beautiful. Put, press that onto there. You'll have another little picture on there, look. Oh, that's so pretty, look at that. See that? So you don't don't press again on the same area. I'll take the camera off now and bring it round to show you what Ava's doing. Okay. So look at this that she's creating. Oh, beautiful, Ava. That's so nice. It's 
gorgeous. So Ava's doing her balloon kissing. Slow down a bit, yeah, not, you don't have to rush it. That's it. Yeah, you can press it on there, all there. Right the door there. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to show you what she's doing. That is so gorgeous. Oh, Ava, look at that. Okay, stop for a second. Now, evaluate it. Do you like how it's looking? Because we needn't do any more. Are you bored? <laughs> You're yawning. just need to go to the toilet. Okay, so I think that's good enough. Hey, do you? That's absolutely, she's done a wonderful job. Look at that. I would be so proud. I am so proud of you. Okay, well, call it quits here.